Hello everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where, you know what, we just love opening up new shiny games. Um, and this game is exceptionally shiny and if you haven't recognised the art by now of the kind of well-known Everdell, well here is your first introduction to it. Um, so today I'm unboxing Everdell, the collector's edition from James A. Wilson and publisher Starling Games. And I'd really like to thank them for this review copy because Everdell is a game I've wanted to try for the longest time and it's well renowned for its beautiful artwork. And just look at this cover. Isn't it fantastic? I think it's beautiful. You get like an insight into this kind of woodland world. Um, and I love this. Now this is a sleeve. So I'll, I'll pull it off in a minute so we can see the real box, but I think we should just like look at it for a minute because it's super, super pretty. You'll have to apologize. My voice is a little deeper than normal because I'm rather sick. Um, look at that, it's even shiny on the side. Sorry, my camera does not like that much, the shine. Um, are these different pictures on the back? Yeah, there are more different pictures. Look at this. Um, so yeah, but do you know what? This is a very exciting day. Um, and so this is really, really cheered up by Monday morning. Okay, so this is a beautiful sleeve. And it's got the shiny Everdell. Um, how do you guys feel actually about games that come in sleeves? I always wonder, like, am I putting a lot of wear and tear around the sleeve? And in this case, it's exceptionally beautiful. Whoop. And it's also very tight. So yeah, so maybe you might recognize it more looking like this. Nearly there. Oh, that was a lot of work. All right, so we'll put the sleeve aside for the moment. Um, so yeah, so here you go. Here's the original original cover. Um, oh God, it it's enchanting, doesn't it? Doesn't it just look inviting? Um, it definitely does. As you can see, some of it is raised and kind of embossed. You can kind of see the the shine from my light on it there. Um, but God, yeah, I can't I can't wait to try this out. Um, and from what I know, it's like a game about um, woodland creatures. I, I believe it's something to do with set collection. And I've heard rumours there is a giant tree in the game. So um, this could be fantastic. Have a quick look anyway at the side and the back. So the side doesn't tell you the number of players. Okay, none of the sides. Um, this seems to be a trend for starting games where they tell you, here we go, the players and stuff on the back. So look, there's that giant tree. Um, so it's for one to four players, ages 14 plus. Hmm. Duration 40 to 80 minutes. That's quite a good time slot. I quite like those kind of medium width games. There are metal tokens in it according to this. Oh my God, I feel so special. Um, there are wooden tokens, all sorts of cool stuff. A deluxe eight-sided die. What makes it a die deluxe? And as you can see, everything is kind of laid out here in front of you, possibly like a tableau builder. Looks super, super fun. All right, let's get in here. I've had enough rooting, although I could kind of sit and stare at this all day. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. I also should probably come to the fact the box itself feels lovely. It's not kind of the the raised stuff, but it's kind of it's lovely and hard and shiny. Woo. Okay, can I fit all of this on screen? It is rather a big box. I suppose it's a ticket to right size box, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm surprised I can't fit more on the screen. So first of all, rules of play. Not a real book, rules of play. I think it's classy. Classy stuff. So we'll have a little look inside. It's waxy paper. Um, tells you all about it. Here's an overview. Overview. Those are our contents. Very cute. I like all the little pictures. Little shopping list. Can you guys hear that horn outside? That either means my, my village um, is having some sort of issues or someone's cutting something. Possibly someone's cutting a silk. You get like twigs. Oh, it explains how to construct your tree. There's like a legend. There's the setup. I like the size of it. It's very handy. Like, you know, you could, it's like a book. Just cool. The font is plenty big as well. So it should be easy to read. And look at all the, I think this is really nicely laid out. Lots of pictures. There's the how to play, so you can see bits of cards, card types, timing. That's something that not a lot of rule books put in, like a timing section. Especially when it comes to games with cards, you want to know when things happen and in what order. So there's the end game, scoring examples. Okay, that's nice, more little kind of background information. Okay, you can play the solo. There are solo rules and what you do. Awesome. And then there is quite an index. So these are for specific cards, which is always positive. And constructions, okay, more of an index kind of for those. And there's a story. That's cool, there's some credits, which is fantastic stuff. And then, oh, there's nothing on the back of the book. What a waste. 
Okay, so coming um, is an advertisement. So we get started in games catalog for spring 2019. And the cool in here is the Archmage, Alien Frontiers. Um, I have that back on Kickstarter. Black Orchestra is, I'll be doing a review for that quite soon. There's Everdell. Yeah, I shouldn't be advertising, but I kind of should. So then you get this page that says Collector's Edition. What's in this? Oh, there's a special expansion for the Collector's Edition and extra things. That's cool, and it explains all of them. I like that. Oh yeah, there seems to be lots of special things. Oh, an entire instruction guide for making the tree. Well, I'm not going to make the tree on camera. I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to be disappointed. But, wow. Okay, where do I start? Okay, so first things first. Big piece. Is this, is this the board? It must be the board, not necessarily the tree. Ooh. Okay, so it's rather large. So let's start with the top piece of this. So you can see, obviously, the tree goes here. Um, so different events marked on the board. Um. It's made of something, I call it kind of like standard cardboard. It's it's nice, but it's nothing special special, but it's good. It's, it's good. It, yes, it is good. I like that. It is good. Not great, not terrible, but good. Um, I like the art on this. The art is very cute. Look at all the squirrels going down the path. And obviously you put things out here in the different places. Interesting choice that it's a circle, right? Like how many circular boards can you guys think of? Don't mention Merlin. Um, so we've got more trees in here, obviously the space for a load of cards, and then right at the bottom here, you guys see that? So there's a little, little gap, ooh, curious, and more places to put things, to, and so this is the meadow, the haven, okay, very cool. There's nothing on the back of it, unsurprisingly, it's brown, and it does fall really, really neatly, it's pretty good. Okay, so here's our tree. Oh, and many other things to be popped out, so let's start with this one. So, I don't want to pop out the tree right this minute, but that's cool that there is a tree. I just think that's awesome. We'll try popping out some of the other cardboard. And today I will remember, oh, oh, look, that's so cool. The back of it is nice. Okay, let's try to pop this out. Well, the tree's willing to go with the token. Oh, okay, there we go. So this is like really thick. It's solid cardboard. It's very much the same thing as like the board itself. It's made of very functional stuff. Um, it's kind of, kind of it's quite grippy on the back, so it wouldn't be too hard to pick up off at the table. That's quite nice, quite a nice addition. So we've got like a boat and some houses. These are obviously things that are going to go out in the board. Those nice big things. What's next? More tree components and some tokens. Look at that. And it's going to be cool. I wonder if you. I assume you'll have to disassemble the tree each time you play with it. Um. Because clearly it won't go in the box. I suppose you could leave it set up somewhere in your house making it look pretty. So these look like tiny door tokens. Tiny doors, okay. And more kind of money tokens. Goldy tokens. Ooh, look at this. So as you can see, this is embossed with the Starling Games logo. And we have stickers. Occupy token stickers that look just like these tokens. Okay, we'll leave those separate. Um, so where will we get to next? I'm thinking... We could do, oh, well, there's a giant dice just sitting loose. We have a D8, yep, a D8. Big, chunky, plasticky. Yeah, good, okay. Okay, so where will we go next? We will go to some of these tokens. So we got some brown wooden discs. Have a look at these. There's some very nice, like, little wooden discs. Cool, there's kind of quite a, a collection of woodeny things in here. Let's have a look. Other woodeny bits. So we'll go with the the animals. This is very cute. Let's so take out like one of each if I can. There's a lot of silica in here. I suppose, which is somebody thought about packaging. There we go. One of each type. So now, if I were to lay them out, so it looks like we have my money's on a bunny, a squirrel, a hedgehog, and I don't. No, what that one is. Do I have them the wrong way around, maybe? Let's try this again. Any idea what the blue one is, lads? I'm not sure. They're nice colours, because they're not primary colours. They're off colours. I think these will look lovely on the board. They're very autumnal, to be honest. They're also super nice. They're very well made. They're very smoothed out. And mostly they are adorable. Which is, it seems to be like, one of the key components of this game. It's adorability. Alright, so we've got these brandy pink tokens. I don't know, these are interesting. Ooh, they feel worse. <laughs> okay, so let's see, can I show you up the guys the little star? So as you can see, they have a little star on them. But they feel kind of squishy. In fact, they are squishy. See, they squidge, they're like rubber. 
They're very cool. I wonder what they are. Try to see some sort of tokens. Okay, what's next in here? Well, we got some shiny coins. I guess it wouldn't be a deluxe edition of anything without your shiny coins. How do I keep moving the box? Let's have a look at a coin. Oh, they're very heavy. Um, have a look for you guys. There we go. They're super heavy, very shiny, and they're all ones. It doesn't look like you need much coins in the game. It's come to think of it, there weren't that many coins on the board, around, you know, for popping out either, were there? Okie dokies. Okay, so now. I'm going to put you guys back in this section, and we'll do another section. There's quite, and you get quite a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so, over here. Oh, I lied! There are more coins! Holy crud! I was just wondering, you know, because there was like three coins on this as well, what would happen. Yeah, more three coins. So these look just like the others. They're also super heavy. And then, oh, we've got like amber shirts. All sorts of things. So these are like the things you see in games like Istanbul, except they're orange. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. They're little gems. Nice, you have some of those. Would you like a good gem? This game seems to be full of all sorts of kind of whimsy and cuteness. So what's next? Because like everything that's a good is being, you know, printed out into something. So what do we got? These look like, ooh, like rats or mice. A little hard to see when they're black. They do look a little, yeah, they got the ears for a rat. They're also lovely. They're like the other tokens. They're super nice. The wooden pieces in this are very, very special. Um, and speaking of wooden pieces, we have wood over here and stones. Okay, so I'll have to open these up. Um, it's kind of cool to see the effort put into bringing something to life, isn't it? So, I'm trying to decide if that's real wood or if that's plastic. I see the lovely grooves on them. Is it real wood? Yeah, I think it's real wood. It's well, it's well grooved wood. And also, they give us extra baggies. A very exacting number of extra baggies, two exactly. I wonder what the top of two was for. Okay, and then the last thing were these funky looking stones. Stones. Okay. They're super smooth, super shiny. Some really nice components in this. All right, that's that section done. Tully ho. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through the sections. I want to do this in a timely manner and I also want to play the game. So, okay, first things first, big stack of cards and look at that, nice tabby thing. This is a lot of cards. So clearly this game is centered around cards because actually there aren't that many, there are tokens and stuff, but, and some places to put on the board. This game's clearly a of tokens or cards even. Okay, so time to celebrate. Here's to the builder of the greatest city in all of Everdell. Isn't that cute? Erect a memorial of your victory. Take a selfie with the other side of the card. Share it with us. I, I kind of like that. They did that in Black Orchestra too. I think it's cool. Um, the cards are really nice. And look at the beautiful back. Aren't they gorgeous? They're beautiful cards. Okay, so what kind of stuff's on the cards then? So, we've different types of people. So it's an architect. A bar toad. These are very cute, aren't they? And this is obviously the payment for them. That pink squishy stuff. University, you may pay up to three twenty each. So it's definitely like a, a tableau builder kind of thing. Cool. So these are, these are just fantastic. Look at all the little critters. Critters, a wife card. That's a new one. May share a space with a husband. Okay, so you pair them up. A wood carver, may pay. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to play this obviously to know more, but um, I can't wait to play this no more. The art is just stunning. Like, look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like every card is just a little delight. I think it'll be you'll be it'll be the kind of game where you'll draw a card and you'll just get excited to see what you actually drew because of how nice they look. Like, do you have any games like that in your collection where they're just like literally a joy to behold? Um, I have a feeling this one will go down this path. I feel I feel a little like that about Wingspan. Every time you set it up, you're just like, oh, this is just lovely. It's glorious. Okay, so we've got some tiny cards. So the shopkeeper's post office, the historian ruins, these are the places. These are um, linen finished cards. These feel slightly different to the bigger ones. Um, when did she pay this? Oh, so they're kind of like gold. Yeah, for Everdell, the Everdell gem. Okay, cool. So that's like things obviously to work towards. And a couple of these ones too. So they're like extra spaces. Two berries in a card. Nice, very nice. Okay, and then the final bit of thing to open is also some cards. There's definitely space in here for more cards. Now it's possible one of these is the expansion thing and I just don't know which. 
because it definitely sounded like you were getting cards for the collector's edition shenanigans. So we have a juggler. He's very cute. A couple of jugglers. Scribble champion. I wonder if there's a way to know if they're expansion or not. These ones do have a bell on them. So maybe that's what it is because these ones, do you have a bell? You do not. So I think this is a, this is like collector's edition bits. Um, which is really nice. I don't have collector's edition -y anything in my life. There we go. Some more bit. Oh, look at him go. Town crier. You may give. So this this kind of alternative cards to play with. with beautiful art. These are also linen finished, so they do feel different than the original cards. And it'd be gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, so that seems to be everything that's in the box. Ooh, good, good lot of stuff in it, isn't there? God, you get a lot of these. These little component things are kind of incredible. And of course, there's a tree. I haven't even got to the tree. Um, that should be fun to do. It'll remind me of playing Robotech, attacking the SDF one, where you had to assemble the robot. Good times, good times. So, what do you guys think about this? Have you heard much about Everdell? I know it's one that I had heard some about, and I considered backing it on Kickstarter at the time, but. Kickstarters are always just slightly out of my league. They're slightly too expensive for me. Um, so it's a real joy to be able to get a hold of something like this. And yet again, thank you to Sterling Games for giving this to me to review. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, why not join me again for another one? And pretty soon I should be also unboxing the expansion for um, Everdell, which is Pearl Brook. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you'd like to see more cute and adorable animals. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and hopefully, um, you know, unboxing something else just as exciting as this. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.